I am going, you know, I literally have a bag packed right here. Oh, I just pulled out the light. Restart. <laughs> What up, Finesse Gang? I am super hyped to bring you guys this video today because I am making an announcement that I am going to Camp Bisco 2018. I know it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but I'm going super last minute. I found out yesterday that I was gonna be able to go. I was actually leaving another festival, Steez Day, Joey Badass, Pro Era, Underachievers, Flatboy Zombies, Made in Tokyo, J. Critch. Actually, crazy mosh pits, yo. For a hip hop show, like, I saw some big ass pits out there. I was leaving that show and I get a text from my manager Hey, Brian, I can give you off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, have fun at Camp Bisco. And I'm just like, Yes! I call up my boy who's been waiting on me to find out if I could go or not. And I'm just like, Yo, Joey, I got off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're going to Bisco. And he's just like, Yes, dude. And I found out that he was going alone. So I actually have a video coming out soon going to raise by yourself. But he told me he was going alone. He's got a parking pass already. So he's just gonna pick me up. We're gonna take all our shit and we we're gonna fucking have the time of our lives out there. Yo, I am so hyped. I went to Bisco in 2016 as a rookie. That's when I really got into the festival scene and I forgot my tent poles, dude. But again, you know, this is why I started the channel because I made mistakes. I'm gonna tell you guys what you shouldn't do, what you should do, and just kind of, you know, how to get around, how to finesse. You know what I'm saying? I'm the festival finesser. I got you guys. I was at Camp Bisco 2016, no tent poles, but I had a canopy, tarps, some string, and duct tape, yo, and I fucking strung tarps around my canopy, fucking staked it into the ground, and I had like a six foot tent I could stand up in and. I was chilling, it didn't get wet. At night, yeah, we would take the top of the canopy off and just sleep under the stars. It was sick. Raven, shout out Bisco 2016. That was a good ass time. Today in this video, I'm just letting you guys know that I'm gonna be there for sure. And uh, just kind of let you guys know that the vlogs are coming. If you guys are looking for me, you already know you can look for the tie-dye bandana with the trippy smiley faces on it and the GoPro up in the air in the crowd. I promise you I will not be hard to find. Yeah, so. Every time I did the laundry, if I saw festival gear, I threw it in this bag. This is the same bag I brought to Ever After. And it's pretty much all the same shit, like, just recycled. You know, packing is not going to be too difficult. And this is, again, I have this shit down to a science, guys. If you guys need to know what to bring to a camping festival, click right here in the corner where I made a video just for you guys. What to bring to a camping festival. And it's really fucking good. I'm not even fronting. But enough with the self promo, let's get back to Bisco. This video, we're just gonna talk about the lineup, let you guys know who I'm hyped to see, talk about the experience, and just some do's and don'ts that come to my head as I'm reading through the lineup. So let's jump into this. Actually, you know what, let's use the app so we can see the times. Where's my phone at? This is actually gonna be kind of fun, because I've never actually read through the lineup with the times and been like, oh, this, I'm gonna see this person or this person. So, Thursday, July 12th, we're starting at 3.30. We have Boombox and Naughty Professor. I don't know who either of those people are, so I'm probably gonna be sleeping. 5 o'clock, we have Buku. I will probably see him. I saw him at Lost Lens, I'm pretty sure. 5.15, we have Lettuce. I don't know who that is, but one thing I love about Bisco is it's not all dubstep, yo. Like, I went to Ever After, and it was just all dubstep all day, and one of the people I was most hyped to see was Keizo, because, like, he was, like, a, it was a nice break. Bisco was cool, because I, like, you know, I'll go for a set, and then I'll go back to camp for an hour or two, and I, like, catch a nap, take some food, smoke a little bit. And, you know, I feel like very refreshed and not just dead and killing myself. There's a lot of time to like recuperate and relax and sleep. It's not like, a, oh my God, I gotta wake up and see this person. It's like, that's like Lost Lands, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, it's just so good all day. Bisco, you get ups and downs and it's it's very vibey, it's cool. So 6.15, we're doing Squanto, Mega Chop, I think, I hope. I love the Mega Chop, but just Squanto by himself is gonna be sick. Kid Waste, I don't know who that is. Bonobo, I don't know who they are. Boogie T is gonna be playing at 7.30. So you know there's gonna be a Boogie T Squanto back to back somewhere at Camp Bisco. Bisco is one of those festivals where there's like pop-ups that's happening at the RV campsite and like a secret set here and like pop up this and secret that. So having the app really is good because they send you notifications. But last year or when I went in 2016, I didn't really have a service to get the notifications. So that kind of fucked me up. Uh, 8.45 G Jones, nine o'clock STS9, who I'm not really, you know, I'm not really into them. STS 9, but 10 o'clock we have Ducky and Snails. I would definitely be at Snails, but uh, Ducky is dope. If you guys haven't checked her out or seen her live, she's very like jumpy and very high energy. 11 o'clock, the Disco Biscuits. Like I said, I really don't care for them. 11.45, J-Wolf. I really don't care for him either. But one thing that I do care about as, as I'm reading this and you know, this talking about the stages, one of the stages, Camp Bisco is in a water park and one of the stages is a wave pool. Like it's half concrete and the other half is in the wave pool. And I'm sure you guys have seen 12 Planet in the wave pool, just people splashing. Like that was 2016, I was there. I was literally walking into the festival as that was happening. I was just like, yo, this is sick. So at midnight, we have Frequent. 
And then, yo, what the fuck? This is crazy. This shit goes, I forgot how late this shit goes, yo. What? Like, this, again, another dope thing about Bisco. It goes till 4 in the morning. Like, most festivals end at, like, 11, 12. 1 o'clock, Saltis, Tipper. Tipper would be dope at 1 in the morning. Nasty, nasty. Jenga is going to be there. I'm definitely on the Renegade stage. Yeah, Jenga. I've, he's, like, a N NYC. NYC somewhere? I don't know. Space Jesus back to back somebody at 4 o'clock. It's probably going to be Liquid Stranger, I would imagine. All right, on uh, Friday the 13th. Wow, nice. We have yoga in the morning at 10 a.m. That's pretty cool. And then Choppy Oppy, that's another NYC native. Um, I'm not really going to tell you everybody who's on here. I'm just going to name people that I want to see. Um, so day two is looking pretty mellow, yo. I'm not trying to get there until like 5 o'clock. With Anna Luno, I know, oh my god, Latus is playing at Bisco? It's lit, yo. Make sure y'all see Latus. Latus throws the fuck down. I just saw him open up for phase one in the city. <laughs> He's an NYC resident DJ. I played Basement Saturdays at Webster Hall all the time. 6 o'clock we have some more disco biscuits. I don't really care. 7.30, 12th Planet. Hell yeah, let's get it. Uh, 8.45, I'll probably see Yeti. Even though Yeti was like, pretty trippy at like Lost Lands. He was like chill. But that was also day 3 where everyone else was throwing like more chill vibes. Because we were all dead from days 1 and 2. 10.30, Space Jesus. That's cool. I will probably be there for that. Uh, and I'll definitely be there. You know, that's one of the more bassy things of the week. I'll, I'll go to Space Jesus. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of that like space and liquid stranger vibe but i can get down with it 12 o'clock bass nectar um yeah not the biggest bass nectar fan y'all like i like bass nectar i respect him to the fucking moon and back but i just don't like his music live disclaimer i've never seen a bass nectar curated show or a bass nectar like event one o'clock in the morning y'all better see genie represent y'all i fuck with genie madheart uh, on the renegade stage she's repping that dub day team yard Let's see, 2 a.m., no, nah, 2.30, Lotus, back-to-back -back Sun Squabby VIP set. I don't even know. I think I know who Lotus is. Uh, 3 a.m., Gigi McGree, I pop. I don't know if I'll be up that late, yo. 3 a.m., like, we'll see. And uh, Ducky, I'll probably see her again at 4 on the Renegade stage. And what's also cool about Bisco is it's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday festival, not Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it's kind of easy to get off for work, to not be like, oh, I only need off. Like, oh, I'll work all day on Sunday or some shit. Like, that's what I'm doing, pretty much. Saturday, this is the last day. Uh, Ghostface Kill at 3.30. That's literally, I've been scrolling through this lineup and don't know anybody on the lineup until Ghostface Kill at 3.30. Um, then we have a Space Jesus set at 4.15, Down Tempo. The Disco Biscuits at 5.15. I, I don't think I'm going to see any Disco Biscuits sets at Camp Bisco. This might be a sin. Elenium, I'll be at Elenium, but I don't really enjoy Elenium, yo. I'm sorry. Like, he's good. It's cool vibes, but like, I just can't get down to it. Like... I don't know, maybe I'll enjoy it more at Bisco because I don't know as many artists, so I'll appreciate Elenium a little bit more, but like at Ever After, dude, and at Lost Lands when I saw him, I was just like, why? At 9 o'clock, Liquid Stranger, I'll be there for that. He's probably my favorite Wakan artist. Is he a Wakan artist? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Um, oh my god, yo, 11 o'clock. <laughs> Excision. This is first time at Bisco, too, so it's gonna be lit, and that's literally like one of the main reasons why I'm going. And then 11.45, uh... Orchard Lounge, I don't know who any of these people are. Sdead? Dead. S-D-E-D. Sdead. We're at 12. I don't even, again, I don't know who these people are. Uh, the Disco Biscuits at 1 o'clock in the morning again. Disco Biscuits play like 6 sets, yo. I'm, I'm not even kidding. They play like 6 sets at Camp Bisco. And then Yeti at 4. And that concludes the day. So if we're going to highlight Camp Bisco, 12 Planet, Bass Nectar, Boogie T, Buku, I'll put him on the list. Ducky put on the list, Excision, GG McGree, G Jones for sure, Elenium, Jenga, Genie, because those are the homies, Latest, because he's fucking, he's not really my homie, but he's fucking nasty, and I know he's nasty, and he's very underrated, Liquid Stranger, um, Snails, Space Jesus, Squanto, Tipper, even though he's not my favorite, and that's really it. So, not a heavy bass festival, but I'm gonna have a blast. All the homies are going, and I'm going with someone I've never gone to a festival before. This is gonna be cool for all of us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm gonna end this video now, because I gotta go to bed, I got work in a couple hours, but I will have this video up for you guys, before Bisco for sure, and then I will see you guys at Bisco recording myself with a selfie stick looking like an idiot so if you see me looking like an idiot make sure you come up and be like yo i want to be in your video or some shit like that and make me not feel stupid because i hate vlogging in public when other people are around me people are commenting like yo i saw you doing this and i had no idea what the fuck you were doing but now it makes sense <laughs>
<laughs> so until the next one, guys, on the Festival of Finesse, thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all at Bisco. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.